um, I'm not feeling well. Oh, what's going on? Um, I have a stomach ache. What? Stomach ache? Oh, a stomach ache? Oh, yes, stomach ache. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you 21 words that you're probably saying wrong. These words contain the letter H, C, and CH, and these are like common mistakes. So before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for the support. So we all know that the sound CH usually makes CH, CH, like chair or charity or chocolate, but sometimes CH is actually k. k, k, k. First, you try to read this word, then I'm gonna say it, and you can repeat after me. Okay, give it a try. What's this? Good. Ache. Ache. So, ache means pain if something hurts. It's not H or H. Don't. Simply don't. This. Yeah, that's a tough one. Choir. Choir. A group of people who sing together, let's say at the church. Choir. It sounds like music. Choir. Okay, next. Mechanic. Mechanic. This is the guy who fixes your car. Read this. Chemistry. Now, if you want to be a pharmacist, then you need to study chemistry. And good. Zucchini. Zucchini. A green vegetable like this. In British English though they say courgette. So as I just explained to you, the letter CH can be ch. Or as we just saw, it can also sound like k, -k, -k, -k but it can also sound like sh. No tsh, but sh. Look at this example. Could you read this word again? Good. So here it's a K sound, mechanic. But here we don't say machine, we don't say machine, but we say machine. So this is more like a sh, 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 sh sound, machine. Let me show you other examples. As you can see, in these following examples, we say sh, not ch. Okay? Would you like to go first? Good. Chef. Chef. This is a person who works at a restaurant. Next. Mustache. Mustache. Next. Champagne. Champagne. Brochure. Brochure. Now, usually, when the word has French origins, then we do not pronounce it as ch, but sh. Now, let's continue with the letter C. Can you read the first one for me? Good. Pacific. Pacific. What are the rules? If we have C followed by I, E, or Y, then it's a S sound. If it's at the end, like here, Pacific, or if it's followed by an A, like a cat, so we have a K sound. 
However, because English is weird, there are always exceptions. For example, can you read this? It's muscle. Repeat after me. Muscle. And here the C is silent. Okay, now read this. It's simply ocean. Shh. It's a shh sound. It's ocean. Okay, this one. Yeah. It's soccer. Soccer. Okay, so let's practice with a long sentence. You go first. Good. Good. People who live close to the Pacific Ocean. Mm -hmm. Good. Build more muscles <laughs> because they because they always play soccer. Good job. Let's continue. The letter H can be tricky because sometimes it's silent, others it's not. And there is no rule really to determine. You just need to know that. Now let's practice together the letter H. So if it's going to be in words like house, house, but if you're saying words like hour, then it's completely silent. So let's practice the H again. <sighs> it's funny. It's like ha ha ha. Good, you got your H. So in the following examples, the H is always silent. Can you try and say that? Honestly, honestly. Let's try another one. Honor, honor. Air, air. By the way, guys, um, a king's air is the person that is supposed to become king next. For example, Jeffrey was heir to the Iron Throne. Yeah. Now let's practice this together in a sentence and remember that the H's are going to be silent. Okay, read with me now. In all honesty, your honor you are not the rightful heir to the throne. <laughs> now guys, remember, when the letter H is silent, then you need to use the article N and not a. So we don't say a heir, this is wrong, but we say an heir. Find yourself an heir. So that was our silent H. Now let's practice our examples where the H is not silent, but forced. So for example, we're gonna say 100. Again, 100. Next, hungry, hungry. And the noun is hunger, hunger. Let's continue. Then we have heat, heat. And the adjective is hot, hot. Not eat and ought, but it's heat, <laughs> heat, hot. 
Super! Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it was useful and that you enjoyed it. If you would like more videos on common pronunciations mistakes, then leave a comment below and I will make sure to make more videos. In my next video, I am teaching you how to speak using a picture. So you're going to describe it first and then I'm going to give you the solution. It's the best way to learn new vocabulary. So make sure to watch it.